Hi everyone, uh, today we are going to be talking about the typewriter effect in uh, a sort of a text-based uh, scenario in text boxes and any instance that you use a string of text on screen um, and then also a way to speed up that text to the end of a sentence um, and help your player sort of get the information they need but as fast as they want to. Um, so basically first what we're going to be doing is using this script which I did not make myself I actually watched this YouTube tutorial series um, and I'll link that in the description please go check it out it's really really good it's for making text-based games and it's what's helped me make this entire game um, so essentially what you're going to be doing is making this string right here and I'll explain it really briefly how it works um, essentially what it's going to be doing is this down here It's going to be drawing text on screen um, and basically the draw text function is already in here and what a string is is making another function like this or like if um, that works in your code so all of this will happen whenever you refer to draw text speed which is the title of course um, then you are have four different arguments you're gonna have argument zero which is x y your string and the speed at which you want the t text to go. Um, so first off, we have this part right here, which is an if if statement. Um, so if argument zero, which is the x, is reset. If you type in reset there, it resets the values. And this comes in handy when you need to have it reset and have the script continue to work later. Um, it definitely like essentially it will help. It'll make um, the script. Uh, Essentially what it'll do is it'll make the script uh, go to zero again and continue the type road effect for the next phrase. And so whenever you are going to be incorporating this, whenever you're going to be changing the words that are displayed on screen and creating the effect again, you need to reset it before you can do that. Um, then uh, this part I'll cover in a, in a second, but this right here uh, essentially says if the draw text speed timer uh, is more than or equal to argument 3, which is the string, uh, the draw text speed value goes up, and the draw text speed timer is set back to 0. So whenever the timer gets to more than or equal the argument, then it gets reset. Uh, and this helps the effect keep going. Um, and the value goes up. So if the timer... Um, if, if Yeah, essentially it'll, it'll let your program keep going until the end of the sentence. Uh, these right here refer to basically if uh, if draw text speed timer doesn't exist already it's going to make it and if it does keep the timer going. And then if same thing for draw text speed value if it doesn't exist already give it a give it a one. Um, so yeah that's basically how this uh, script works. I'm gonna leave it on the screen for just a little bit so that you can uh, copy it onto your own screen and make it look all nice. Um, and now I'm going to talk to you about the effect that I um, have created myself and that I think works really nicely in, uh, in a text-based game to so sort of allow your player to move freer throughout the text. Um, so all this is in my game already, so you don't need to pay attention to the stuff up here or the stuff down here. But um, this right here is essentially what we're going to be talking about. So just to begin, what this is going to do is that when you press the button that makes text go to the next screen, it or go to the next body of text, it won't do that if the text isn't completed, and it will complete the text first. So essentially what's going to happen is if you press this button, when the text is being written, it will fully write the text. It'll finish the text right there. Um, and then after that, the button will work again to um, reset and go to the next uh, variable. Um, so if the, draw, if the draw text speed value is not equal to or more than the string length, which is basically what you're writing in the string, like what you want to be displaying on screen, then the draw text speed value is going to equal the string length. So that's when the button is pressed on key press A. For me, A is my main button. Um, and you can have this for whatever button you need it to be. Else, if it's not that, if it, I mean, if it is, if the draw text speed value is equal to or more than the string length, 
then control, don't worry about this, this is a value that I've made myself to tell me about other things, so you don't need to worry about that. Basically what you're going to want to draw here is, um, in these brackets, all you need to do is draw underscore text underscore speed reset. And as you saw before in the uh, first if statement of the script, this will just reset your script and make it work. Um, so in my game, I have to have a couple other variables here. And so that's why it's a little more confusing here. But essentially, all you need to do is else draw speed, draw text speed reset. And that will mean whenever the button is pressed, and the draw text speed value is equal to or more than the string length, then it will just reset it and it'll go back again and work again because A is what's making it go to the next word. Um, so I hope this has helped you. I'm going to uh, display a little bit right here. We're going to cut to the part of my game that works with this tech system. Um, and so we'll see you in a second. So as you can see here, I have the beginnings of my game. Um, and the way that this works is that when I press A, I'm going to have to do this quickly because my words go pretty fast you'll see that it has the typewriter effect. And so I'm going to choose in, and then I'm going to press it again. So as you can see, it just finished the sentence. So if I wanted to go fast, I could theoretically do this. But it'll continue to finish the sentence first before I press it and it goes again, as opposed to just going on to the next sentence. Um, so yeah, that is the way that this game works. Uh, I hope you've enjoyed this video, and if you found it helpful, please leave a like, comment, um, and check out my other videos for things to do. Um, as always, have a great day, and remember to check out the uh, video series that I found uh, very helpful during this and originally created the script for this. Uh, thank you, and goodbye.